Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronax and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So in this one, I want to go in the normal Osmacalis raid again. And let's uh, let's go and kill Vera first. Lower the sound because uh, music's pretty loud in the, in the raid. I, uh, I have different gear on Silk. She actually has higher speed and just overall more damage than before. Been trying something out in uh, in PvP with her. It's Bellona, Silk, and Sid together. Basically, uh, Bellona softening up the target, and then Silk use S3, which with defense down on the target deals quite a bit of damage. I'm seeing like four, five, maybe six thousand damage. Yeah, that's without attack buff, and uh, S3 is not fully skilled up. Really, her gear is nothing crazy, but I mean, it's it's a combination of high speed and uh, pretty good uh, offensive uh, stats, uh, crit crit damage and attack. And like basically, there might be a hero that dies at that point, but it's like Shuri goes first, deals area damage, then Bellona with defense down, and then Silk S three. Then now Sid is the last one. He has speed buff, so he has elemental advantage with the S three. He can just finish off whoever he's gonna attack like pretty much like whoever's about to die because he's ha he has elemental advantage and then he's gonna use uh, skill one because he's gonna kill someone and uh, yeah with s1 he could potentially kill another uh, another hero but like a squishy damage dealer could die from the damage from uh, the combination of damage from Shuri uh, Bellona and silk which is pretty good. Now back to uh, the raid here. So yeah, Alexa, use her in my three-man uh, wyvern setup. Angelica, uh, it's it's Angelica, Tarnagard, and Alexa. They're all uh, that's the core, my three-man team. So they have good gear. Tarnagard could have better gear. He's mostly there for uh, defense down, with having like high speed, so he goes first. Angelica, she actually has really good gear. I have Rod. I just geared D in, actually. And the Rod, I will put it... Uh, I, I tried Rod on Angelica. It's actually doing uh, really well in uh, in Wyvern. But, I mean, she does just fine with the uh, Prophet Candlestick. Because, I mean, of course, she's getting attacked uh, every time. And it's lowering her cooldowns. Which is really good. So, like, you don't need to go with... Uh, with a rod on Angelica, in, in, in Wyvern's case, because like in PvP, uh, rod on Angelica would of course uh, provide you with uh, much more healing, and uh, I mean really, most places that are not Wyvern el uh, 11, rod is going to be uh, very powerful, because you, you can't always have every target just focus on your frontliner, that's just not the way it works. So yeah, th this team is uh, definitely used in other areas of the, of the game. It's just that Alexa, I want to try her for fun in PvP, and of, of course Angelica, you can pretty much use her in, in, not everywhere, but really like in many places. Tarna Guard, I feel like yeah, Tarna Guard would be uh, better than Alexa for PvP, that's for sure, because of the whole uh, dual attack. Yeah, you could use Infinity Basket on uh, Ranger with Tarnar Guard, increase the chance of a uh, dual attack. And that combat readiness boost when uh, dual attack happens with TG is, uh, is very good, like you just saw it here. It's 25% combat readiness. He also gets attack buff, which is good because like in this group, there's no attack buffer. So there's that. Okay. You better calm down now. My god, this happened. This actually happened. Wow. This point worked. Okay, well. I have to wipe, and I don't want to do the boss without Alexa. It's fine.
my god things like this do happen what can you do really just restart the thing it's it's gonna be faster than just uh having uh <laughs> then try to kill the the, the whole team to uh, to get the free uh revive because it's not gonna happen really after that elite i mean i'm not gonna sacrifice myself on vera i prefer to keep that for some unfortunate uh, situation let's say this thing happened like at near the end of the run like let's say i killed the boss and i was clearing just toward vera and boom that happened right there maybe uh, maybe i didn't have my free uh my free uh, revive and it would have been a massive waste of time yeah that's the thing it's just a uh, counter-attack uh, monster and uh he uh well you guys saw tg alexa and silk they all got stunned and the damage is was piling up i think initially angelica got stunned so she couldn't even keep the group healthy and then her s3 came in late but of course it's not on manual so she's just spamming her s3 whenever so it wasn't up yeah really like I, i'm doing wyvern 11 a lot well not a lot actually not a lot what a lot is when i was actually doing that is i mean i would spend a day doing it just chain running it if I compare all the, the rest of the content of the game, uh, let's say what content do I do uh, farm the most? It's of course uh, Wyvern 11. I, I don't I don't farm the other hunts. It's just Wyvern. That that's those speed uh, speed items, speed sets. They're they're huge. They're always gonna be huge. Because even if you go for the uh, Azimana hunt. Yeah, you can get Rage, uh, that deals a ton of damage, that said, you just of course need a, need a debuff on the target. And you've got the immunity set, but to be honest, like, let's say in, uh, in PvP, uh, if you have the speed and you go first, well, you can just remove uh, the immunity first, and uh, you have a combat run as booster, you have... Uh, Say I, I run uh, Shuri, I run Hurado, uh, and then I would run like Bologna and some other uh, cle uh, a Cleaver, another one, and that could be the team. Let's say that could be the team, and I will go first. I will go first because I've been farming that speed, and they will lose the speed battle. I mean, I, I know there's players that spend money in the game. I'm free to play. All my Sky Stones are for energy. It's only like when I tried to get Luna, I was out of Covenant uh, bookmarks. So I just refreshed the secret shop in the lobby to buy Covenant bookmarks. And uh, that was it. That was the only time. Besides, of course, increasing the hero and inventory space. And at the very start of the game, I was actually rushing a bit in the arena. So I spent a couple Sky Stones there. Let's say, I don't know exactly how many times I've done it like less than 10 uh, uh, flag refresh whatever with Skystone maybe like between 5 and it's like 8 that's it that, that's that's pretty much it imagine the exact same thing happens again I highly doubt it that was just extremely un like unfortunate but yeah, this team is uh, 38 morale. Talked about it before in the other videos. It's uh, it's very good. If you replace uh, Angelica, you can uh, you replace. I mean, with uh, Akates, you get one more morale, so that's 39. If you have Lorena as your fourth instead of Silk, you will get uh, you will get three morale more. So it's gonna be 41 morale with Angelica or 42 with Akates. Now I can do two runs and clear. Uh, I can clear three bosses and have uh, the path cleared toward the part of the path cleared toward the queen, let's say. And then on the final run, it will be something like uh, kill the queen and kill whichever boss is still alive. Now, to do that, I can run this team two runs, but for the third run, I actually need to bring a team in that 
will give 30 morale while camping. 30 morale plus. I don't get... My God. Let's, let's pause one second. Oh my god, really? Let's just... Let's not, play, let's, let, let's not play around here. Let's just pop the Guardian. Okay. He's still dead. Alright. That was uh That's the thing though. Let's say you fail a run. Let's say you're running Wyvern 11. It seems like when you're gonna repeat the run, like probably most of the events that happen on the fail run will happen again or... I'm, I, I don't know if the rolls are, are, are like in that instant or if they are predetermined. predetermined. If they're like, I mean... Nah, because we, we saw what happened. There was a resist like check that was... We, I didn't resist any of the stun on the first run and I got triple stun on all... Like I got all my damage dealers stun. That was the first run. This time it was different, but like sometimes you just, I just feel like you're just running, let's say wyvern or whatever hunt, and you like fell at them, fell, fell. Like, what? How? Like I let's say I I have like 80% success rate, and somehow it's like just chain failing. It's almost like uh, most of the events that uh, that happened on the uh, initial run, they're just like keep they, they just keep on repeating themselves. But it could just be a massive bad luck streak. Uh, bad uh, luck streak. Okay, I should camp. After killing these. Yeah, I still, I'm still working on six starring Yuna. That's the thing. I need fathers. I I got like the the four star max level Phantasm. They're all ready because I'm getting XP for free when I run Wyvern. I wish I could w r uh, run Wyvern more, but the thing is, I feel like it's not worth doing it now because I need to get those fathers ready. Because like, if I'm doing Wyvern, because I can 3-man it, I can get the XP, so I need to get those fathers ready so I can just bring them along. But I'm, I'm capping that experience so quick. So now <laughs> I'm at like a point where if I really want to min-max, I have to have a father that will get full experience the full amount sometime i've been bringing fathers that like like two star father that are level 17 and i only get let's say 50 percent of the actual xp i would get in the run because it hit max level now here i w what was it again angelica comforting cheer and then tana guard heroic cheer So yeah, I need to get those fathers, and uh, it means like I need to farm adventures, like a ton. But that's fine, because I can actually farm Catalyst at the same time. Uh, yeah, so see, she's got uh, more speed now. Well, let's go with that. Got it. Well, will she crit? That's the question. Oh, there we go. Not probably not this one. Oh, really? I still don't know what's up with the. Why on the second attack that Alexa does, the damage is so much lower. That's one thing I'm not sure what is even going on. To be honest, uh, Daydream Joker is definitely triggering, but. Could it be that skill enhancement don't don't work on the second attack? It's definitely off. Like, why wouldn't why would it not deal the same amount of damage? It's like something something get gets turned off. You see her? Why? Why is it such a massive difference? 
Because the skill ups, they're like 30% difference in damage. But even then, that 30% of uh, 4,600, that's... Uh, wait, no, that's it. That was 7,000 and then 4,600. Could it be it? Because I, ha I have her plus 3 on her S1. Because, you know what? If that's a bug, actually, because it's definitely a bug. Like, like let's look at this. 13.6, 8. You take 50% uh, of 8. Yeah, that's like... That's... No, no, I mean that... No, I took 50%. I have to math it out. I don't have a calculator. I don't feel like doing it here. But uh, it's definitely off. Something's really odd with that thing. And let's say it's that. Let's say the skill enhancement don't count on uh, the second attack. I feel like it's not that. You know why? Because when I was is initially running Alexa as a four-star hero, you can check my video. Uh, I was four-manning uh, Wyvern 11. I had Alexa as a four-star with Daydream Joker. And she was all-damaging uh, Luna, Kisei, Tarnar Guard. I've and all that okay and basically she had no skill ups and it was still happening her first attack was dealing uh, more damage than the second attack <laughs> why exactly i don't know but let's say it's a bug i mean it does definitely sound like a bug imagine they fix it and then they're gonna be like well alexa deals too much damage now we kind of have to uh <laughs> tune her down because imagine like, imagine they fix it and both attacks deal the same amount of damage. What happens then? It's like, she gets a specialty change. And what? She's gonna be totally insane. But, I mean, they, they can just leave her like that because... I mean... She's for PvE, mostly. She's too squid. Like, really, if you get the first turn, I guess you can use her in PvP, but... She needs to land a critical hit. You could have her 100% crit chance or 85% crit chance against a, a fire target. Because in in the case of uh, Wyvern, uh, Wyvern is fire, and with an ice hero, you get 15% uh, bonus crit chance. Wow, I have to try her in PvP. It's just if you don't crit, it's really like it's really unfortunate. Thing is, most of the damage, the bulk of the damage comes from the Daydream Joker. Okay, here uh, I have not been using my souls. And my defense now has not been triggering. I could have used Silk too. Just start doing some damage. Like some real damage. But I don't have defense down, so it's a bad moment to do it. Wow, Tarnagard. And Angelica. It's, uh... You know, I'll build my souls again. Yep. Okay, so that uh, was 27. And... So yeah, that is the same thing again. I'm at 27, and after teleporting, I will be at 24. It's exactly the same amount of morale needed to do to reach from the waypoint here to reach Carcanis and Julie V. It's 81. So Vera is 81 as well. Because uh, yeah, that's that's what it was. I was at actually 27 and 24 after the teleport. Could it be the same for everyone? Could it be? Now, the thing is, at this point, it's like if I decide to walk back to, let's say, Devour Rakan, there's that small area that I already walked through. So that's kind of a small waste. The best would be to go in a different direction and win some battles. So I feel like. Uh, with the team that I'm going with, that that third run going for the queen, I could do Julie V plus queen together. It's a bit brutal, but 
Yeah. There's a team of Angelica D in. Wait, no, that's not it. Wait, where is it? It is... It's the same team as this. It's just I replace Silk with D in. I just don't know if with the barrier I'll be able to keep Alexa alive. Alexa is too squishy with my current gear set. It's gonna have to test that out. Anyways, let's head toward Executioner Carcanis. I cannot get to actually fight him because it I don't have enough morale with this team. It's actually what was it? It's not even possible to do it. You need Yeah. Where did I even write this thing? This page is so full. So Carcanis plus Julivi, you need a 45 morale team. There is morale teams with 45 plus. It's like 45 and 46. And then I don't think there's a 47 morale team yet. But yeah, this these are the highest teams really. And the the combination of heroes might not be actually uh, good to actually do a run. Like the, there might be no sustain, there might not be enough sustain, there might be too much sustain and not enough damage. I mean, it could be painful to run it, or it, it requires heroes like five star, natural five star heroes and stuff like that. Like compared to a team like this, this is definitely not asking for much. Like. Because Angelica can be replaced with the cat, so after a few months of playing, let's say if if you did it like if you started with and you roll your selective summon with Angelica, you're already set, you know. You got Silk for free, you got Alexa for free, and Tornar Guard if you you haven't got him, gotten him, yeah, gotten him. Just save your Mystic summons until he shows up in uh, in one of the uh, hero uh, pool for uh, well, yeah. The weekly uh, pool and just go all in there until you get uh, TG at this point with the whole mystic summon uh, system there's no really like reason why you shouldn't have a three star uh, if if you don't like I got really unlucky to get Kyrus took um, one, took uh, over four months to get Kyrus since global launch I still haven't built her but yeah I have Bellona I want to build uh, Kyrus for uh, testing things and also you can use Bellona with Kyrus together that's what I actually do in Golem uh, on my second, uh, second account yeah the, for the Queen I like to I'd like to have a Knight so there's Crozet or Tywin so far that could be a potential candidate like Angelica in the front is really bad because she keeps on getting attacked and her cooldowns, her skill cooldowns are getting increased, so she pretty much does nothing. Come on, don't don't tell me like Alexa is gonna get popped here. It's just this wing is uh, pretty heavy on the fire, but uh, I mean it's good because I mean. It's, on triple ice it's just silk silk is really good to uh, even though she's earth against uh, uh, executioner Carcanus, she can uh, pop the boss out of stealth with uh, her s3 her skill 3 you cannot do it with the guardian by the way so yeah i want to see the battle result at the end of this thing i want to see how uh, how silk's been doing because with the gear that I have on her now, it, it, it's going to be higher than before. Since she has an area attack, she should be able to uh, beat uh, Tarnaguard quite easily, I believe. Unless Tarnaguard got crazy dual attacks. The thing is, I'm using Infinity Basket on Silk. What it means is that when Silk goes, there's a higher, pretty high chance that a teammate will dual attack with her. So this is not the artifact to boost her own damage, but it's the, the one to increase... That, uh, to increase the damage of the rest of your teammates. I prefer that one because, uh, I mean, Tarnaguard, if he dual attacks, that's that's free combat readiness for the team. Also, of course, I mean, if Alexa dual attacks, that's a lot of damage. She will only do her S1 once. She's not going to do S1 twice. I mean, <laughs> if she did that, that would be so insane. Oh, the damage potential, though. The burst damage potential. Uh, 
Yeah, there, there's a bunch of uh, three-star heroes, uh, four-star heroes I want to like build and test for you guys. It's just that you know, like even with getting a refund on Molagora, it's it, it got easily spent. I, I I I spent all of them, and I do have like limited here. Like what? The end. Oh, well. Minus 32, 32, there you have it. At least, that's what happens. If you keep your free revive, well, if you're not paying attention, these things can happen. And you're fine, because you still have the revive. <laughs> like, what is going on? One shot. This is how far I got, and that's pretty much how it's been before. I ran every boss, and beside... Devour. I feel like Devour requires less than 81 morale to just get and clear. I feel that's the case. It's gonna be. It's gonna have to be next week that I test this thing out. Yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this run. I'm gonna show my gear at the end here. Let me just show the battle result and what kind of garbage I got. Hopefully, I got a Galaxy bookmark. It's been a while, I believe. Nope. Nope. That's uh, three speed. In fact, I mean, it's it can be usable, but Unity can be farmed now, so not too excited about it anyway. Uh, <laughs> anymore. Yeah, it's just health set. The ancient coins are good, but to be honest, like you can just run normal labyrinth and get over two hundred ancient coins there. In, uh, and it only requires one ticket. Bow result. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at Silk now. Now she's de dealing some damage. That's more like it. That that's definitely a difference. And she needs skill ups. She definitely needs skill ups. Tarnar Guard is not super high on in terms of damage, because like I said, he's there for the defense break, defense down debuff. So Alexa, you know her skill ups. It's 30% damage increase from this. It's quite beautiful. And uh, Tarn of Guard, he's uh, fully skilled up for when you turn off his skills. That's as good as good as it gets. Now, Angelica. Oh, Silk, of course. I missed Silk. And Silk is here now. Really, like her CP, I got it quite high. So yeah, like if she, if I was running some skill ups on her, like that's a lot of skill ups too. That plus ten and plus fifteen damage near the end as well. Yep. Even some combat, like you can get it to reduce combat runs by ten percent. Yeah, and this thing I can bring it to a hundred percent chance, but it's no big deal. For now, for now, for now. And this just extra damage. Now for the gear and the stats, and yeah, Silk first, like checks, this is Silk and this is Alexa, they're like next to each other almost in CP, easy to compare, but they are built differently, of course they both have low attack, but Alexa relies on high crit damage mostly, and pretty high speed I would say, nothing insane, but yeah, of course, if I want more damage out of her, I would get more speed so she can get even more damage from Daydream Joker. But she really shines against high health target. And, uh, you know, crit damage, of course, is high on her, but the speed of Silk is, is better. Also, Silk needs some effectiveness. But yeah, I, I built her for, like, that extra damage on that S3. The thing is, no... Her attack is not that high. But anyways, she's got some crit damage though. Here's the gear. No speed on this thing, but it's like everything useful here. It was quite good. This, well, effect resistance is quite unfortunate. That's actually a helm that is not so good. I'm tr I'm really low in supply. Like, I don't have good helms with speed. On a speed set, of course. Now this thing is a uh, high speed and decent offense that's good this thing was on chaos like axe before really high crit chance and also got some crit damage i was able to dodge those flat rolls 
I think I got one flat attack roll there, the rest went in the rest. And this thing is high survival effectiveness. Eh, I need a speed set and some attack main stat. And here, all this stuff can be better, but it's actually quite good gear. Quite good gear for where I'm at in terms of progression in the game. Oh yeah, and the artifact, that's the infinity basket I'm talking about. Also the dual attack, there's 20% attack increase. Triple crit set. So yeah. Effectiveness that is unneeded on her because I just use her S1. I don't use the poison of S2. So a bunch of effectiveness that does nothing. So wasted stats there. But still, her stats are... She's really powerful. Yeah, good, good gear. I would say it's, it's good gear. It's not crazy, but it's it's really good for where I'm at in the game. I didn't put some garbage onto her because I use her. I, Wyvern is what I farm. Wyvern eleven three mana, and it's. Uh, I need to get that sword powered up some more. But I I was in dire need of effectiveness. So yeah. Speed. This chest, I needed some crit damage, and yeah, I got lucky with the rolls. Actually, like, I use pretty much everything. The defense percentage, I don't need that for Wyvern, but it's some survival for raid. That that actually was a really good pick. Because, yeah, ch chest with uh, the stats I needed, I don't have, really. This thing... Really, it's all the crit chance and crit damage. The rest is just a bit of survival. It's nothing insane. This thing... Some crit chance, crit damage. So 80, item level 85 base, so that's good. These boots, well, if you're fortunate enough to have them. I got lucky with the decent, a pretty high crit chance roll on that and some attack as well. Daydream Joker, my second best on Tarnagard. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, Angelica as the final hero. The, the, her stats are pretty nuts. I mean, it could be better, but it, it's actually very good. It's like, look at the speed and health. Defense could be higher, but... So my team is overkill for what I'm doing in the raid, really. Just, you can see the unfortunate events that can happen. With, uh, like... Just counter attacks, burst damage, random stuff happening, and just getting like one of your hero popped. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos, they should be showing up on the screen now. Good luck with your raid, and uh, yeah, I'll be in the next one. Check me out. Peace.